when somebody feel like they have to have sex with somebody for them to love them right. or to feel love. I, I think that's that's pretty deep because you know you, you have the power, but you you are more than that. You mm-hmm. know, and that just that just threw me off during that time. I was like, I, I just did not understand. It took me a long time to really get it because you know I, I really tr- truly trying to love her in the right way. Yeah, but <laughs> it was. It was a clash. She's like, I don't want that. You know, I mean, she wanted it, but you know. Right. It was, it was almost like. Couldn't receive it. Yeah, she couldn't receive so it. So one it was, of my taglines that I love to use is sex is your superpower. And with every superpower, every superhero has a limitation, right? Superman good, has kryptonite. That's good. The Black <laughs> Panther needs the purple herb or he's not the Black Panther. Rest in peace, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. Right? Like, or he's not the Black Panther. And so women... Sex is our superpower, but when we go out of certain parameters, we lose that power and we give it away. Yeah, also, I want you to talk about what if it's, it's some ladies out there that may be struggling with the same thing you're talking about, mm-hmm. right? I did I did a good one time that she felt like um, if you didn't have sex with her, you didn't love her, you know? And I, I, I never encountered at that point, I never encountered a woman like Ooh, that. My heart. You know, I, I just I just grew up a little different. You know, what I'm saying you know PK and stuff like that. Right. So I I view women a certain way. Right. You know, and that was counter to what I understood. And and it, I thought she was playing, but she was serious. Wow. You know, we had so many struggles. Wow. You know, and so you a lady talk talk about that to the ladies who feel like you know they got to have sex with the guys you know to love them mm-hmm. to feel love not not. Necessarily pleasure, right? But if if I don't do this to him, he's not gonna love me. What's, right. Ooh, I don't understand right. that as a, as a man. I get it. Ooh, okay. But so help help them from one. <laughs> give us that perspective. What does that feels like? And then you know help somebody who may be struggling. With you. I maybe when I was a teenager, I felt a little bit of that. I can't say that I did. And disclaimer: everybody who has a father. Right. Or everybody who has a dad doesn't have a father. Mm. So I want to be clear about that. I had a great father. Right. When I when I was growing up, great father to young girls. So my dad took us on dates. My dad told us we were beautiful. Um, He put us in elevated environments. He made sure we were safe and all that kind of stuff. And that's what he protected and provided for his family. So that's what I saw as love. And so I wasn't out there looking for love Mm. and many women are out looking for love because they didn't have a love of a father because it wasn't that validation yeah so when some people are and then some people are like okay well Karina didn't grow up with a father you have a heavenly father right I also got that love from God and if you can't if you didn't have an earthly father it's hard to imagine having a heavenly father because you've never even like tangibly had that but i would have to say most times that is the root of where it comes from with women is the daddy issues Mm -hmm. and so i try to seek myself in somebody else or fill that Mm -hmm. void from somebody else and it just it's not possible and so one of my taglines that i love to use is sex is your superpower and with every superpower, every superhero has a limitation, right? That's Superman good, has kryptonite. That's good. The Black <laughs> Panther needs the purple herb, or he's not the Black Panther. Rest in peace, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. Right? Like, or he's not the Black Panther. And so women, sex is our superpower. But when we go out of certain parameters, we lose that power and we give it away. So that's that. I think that the foundation of that 90% of the time it is a father wasn't in the home or it's a traumatic childhood experience. There are so, so, so many resources out there. I know Better Help is one. I know Tim Ross on his podcast, he always elevates one. I don't know what it's called, but for every podcast, Tim Ross does that. Shout out to Tim Ross and Better yeah. Help. <laughs> Sponsor if you want to. <laughs> um, <laughs> that That's what that is. So go see a therapist if it's the trauma in the therapy. I don't do trauma because that's not my specialty. I'm not trained in that. So that is that piece of it. To come out of that, let's say it's not trauma, right? And it's just like maybe, I don't know, maybe just nobody ever told me I was powerful as a woman who was sexual. Like I talk about the steps of loving yourself 
honoring yourself mm-hmm. and honestly being so sexy you don't need a man like yeah, okay <laughs> and when i say that not you don't need a man <laughs> i don't need a man right i hate i hate that narrative but as in like in order to be feel sexual and feel pleasure you don't need a man right he should look at you Feel your essence and be like, that is so sexy because you're already in your pleasure. And he gets yeah, to jo- he gets to join, right? He's not really bringing you anything new. <laughs> like, he just gets to join. Yeah, hey, that's, that's real. Now, that's, that's some powerful stuff, man. You know, because, I, I, like I said, I, I do I do feel that um, from what I'm seeing in relationships and in the community, and in point of notes, everybody, uh, we're not experts or uh, relationship gurus. You know, we're just bringing our perspective and our experience to the table. Uh, things that we learn, things that we've seen. I say this all the time on my channel. I like to share things I've seen from a man's perspective. Mm-hmm. Y'all know I always share a lot of my failures, uh, a lot of my successes. But I share a lot of my failures too so people can understand, like, yo, it's real life. And a lot of times people walk with me. I was I just put something on my channel recently about depression. But we'll get into mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Personally. But back to that. Um, I saw that sermon. Yes. It was yeah. good. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I was going in. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, it, it, but it's real. Uh, I want to sing your power. I, I do think some of those issues do come from that. Um, it's kind of hard. Like, a lot of times people don't heal properly. Right. You know, men and women. You know, I've been in relationships where I wasn't healed properly, mm-hmm. you know, and I ruined the relationship. Yeah. And I also been in a relationship where the, uh, the woman wasn't healed properly, and mm-hmm. she ruined the relationship. And... From what I'm seeing, just out and kind of in the community and society right now, it's a lot of people going from relationship to relationship, not being healed. Right. And I think as you look at social media, you could you could see they could put a post up about just say this person, that person, and they had an issue in their relationship. Right. The comments is full of like trauma. Yeah. You know, <laughs> ridiculousness. And I'm like, yo, this this can't be what we think and feel. You know. But it is. It's and it's sad to me because I'm like, yo, we we got a lot of we got a long way to go. You know, and I just want to see relationships healed. Right. You know, I want to see black men and black women together. Period. You know, for real, for real. But yeah, you know, the part about um, you know, a, a woman um looking at that, I do, I do think that's important. Cause man will join in that. He will see that. Uh, yeah. He will recognize that. Cause but I'm most that's when people try to fight me on that. I say, okay, let's let's talk about it. Who goes to the strip? Cl- who has strip clubs catered to them? Man. Right. Back in the day. Who went to the brothels? Man. Man. Um, when you see a commercial trying to sell a product, typically who's selling the product? Who's making the product sexy? The woman making sexy. Yes, because we are, the, we are the yeah. domain of sex. I don't. I've never thought about paying a man for sex. I've never thought about how to get a man to have sex with me. <laughs> like I could go out and I could smile really pretty and bat my eyes, and I could be in somebody's bed tonight. <laughs> right. in, in an hour somebody I, I would never <laughs> don't recommend it <laughs> a random man bed tonight right but how a man has to and that's why men anytime you have to lie and manipulate in order to get something you're not in possession of it mm-hmm. a lot of men lie and manipulate for sex right women don't do that we don't have to lie <laughs> and manipulate because we are sex we don't have to lie and manipulate for something that we already possess so when people try to go toe to toe me with it, I'm like, okay, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, the proof is in the pudding. It's an interesting topic, man, because I, I think from, from what I'm seeing, um, we just as, as I guess as a community, we're not really seeing the power and understanding the power of sex and stuff right. like that on the personal mm-hmm. level. So all the stuff you be talking about, you know, and just some of the ramifications of it and things like that, and it's kind of like a lot of wild stuff just happening. Yeah, you know, and and. The part I be looking at is just trauma and stuff like that. Like I said, um, when somebody feel like they have to have sex with somebody for them to love them right. or to feel love, I think that's that's pretty deep because you know you, you have the power, but you you are more than that, you mm-hmm. know. And that just that just threw me off during that time. I was like, I, I just did not understand. It took me a long time to really get it because you know I, I really truly trying to love her in the right way. Yeah, but it was. It was a clash. She's like, I don't want that. You know, I mean, she wanted it, but you know. Right. It was, it was almost like. Couldn't receive it. Yeah, she couldn't receive it. It was almost like somebody who accustomed to getting like domestic violence. Like, if he not hit me, he don't love me or whatever yeah. the case may be. Or I know he loves me because he hit me, get mad, and that type right. of thing. So it's, it's a lot of stuff to um, do with that. Um, I do yeah. want to real quickly speak about community and when you said self-discipline. So 
I knew these things, like knew them, but then I heard them. And then this woman named Mina Ephron on YouTube, made it just made so much sense. So she's Indian and Pakistani. Mm-hmm. So they have a totally different culture, right? They do. And so what she was, she just put some words to everything I was feeling. So it knew to be true. So she was saying in her culture, you cannot have a woman unless you are stable Mm. and not just financially. Like if you have a stable record in the community, if you are financially stable, if you are religiously sound, like you have to be stable or you literally cannot get a woman and they don't shame men who aren't there yet. They just say, okay, well, you're not ready for marriage, right? You're not mm. ready to have a family and to take on that responsibility. Come on, steps. Because, right? Because it's a responsibility. So they don't shame men and say, you know, well, you ain't, you ain't got a bag. And <laughs> you can't have no family. They just say, okay, we'll keep working. And then, I don't know, maybe harder. you can get our younger daughter because our yeah. older daughter about to get married. <laughs> she, and, she already gone. Right. She, <laughs> all right, now. <laughs> She's looking for it, you know what I'm saying? You got to try again. Like, working at, um, you know, um, uh, in a store, like maybe a couple of years. You know that. You can move up the fries <laughs> and the burgers. <laughs> you keep showing up on time. <laughs> but they, but that's the standard in that community. That's yeah. the standard. And she was saying, now every community has their thing. So I'm not yeah. saying that the Indian Pakistani community is absolutely 100% perfect. But as far as that community family aspect, they got that on lock. Yeah, I missed that. We got to get back to that. They got that a lot. They do. We, we got to <laughs> be like that, man. We got to right? get back to that, man. I missed that. But so we need. Much. But we have to have yeah. standards. Standards. And the men know, if I want man. to be with a woman, this is what I have to provide. This yeah. is how I have to come. These are the standards. And when there are no standards, we get what we have, right? Which is chaos. Honestly, it's a lot of chaos, man. 